Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I want to do is kind of show you how to multiply polynomials. And there's going to be a couple different ways that you're going to go about this. Um, and there's some ways that I prefer. Maybe some other teachers might prefer some other ways. But the basic things that I think you need to understand is the first assured a property. Whenever you have a term outside of parentheses and you have an expression within that parentheses, we need to make sure we multiply our term outside to every single term inside of that parentheses. So therefore, we'd have a times b plus a times c. The next thing I think is also very important is understanding FOIL. And when doing FOIL is what we're pretty much doing is identifying the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. You can still apply distributive property which e with each term. But by using FOIL, one, it's easy to remember. And then also, that's basically what you're doing. But you're just kind of doing it in a little bit funner and a little bit more fun of a manner. And also, sometimes we create FOIL face. And then what we do is we just write out, well, what is the product of my first terms, which would be a times c? What is the product of, product of my outer terms? And then inner terms, and then last terms. And then we just combine them um, by adding them in. Uh, the next thing. Actually, really write that out there. The last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is when we're when we're multiplying, we gotta know the product rule for exponents because that comes up a lot. And basically, it says is when you are multiplying two exponents, they have to have the same base. When you multiply two exponents, all we're simply doing is adding the powers a plus b. Now, if you're multiplying two exponents and they have a coefficient a and b, then you multiply the coefficients. The base remains the same, and you again add the exponents. So this would be a times b times x raised to the m plus n. All right. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is pretty much using the box method. And I prefer to use the box method over applying distributive property and over using FOIL. So distributive property sometimes is easier just because it's very basic. But what's nice about the box method is basically it just keeps everything organized and allows me to combine the like terms that I need. So basically, to do box method, um, when you are multiplying the product, basically all you're doing, when I say like 5 times 4, all that really means is really the length of 5 and the 4. Then you could say, well, really, the, my, pro you know, my product, which is 20, really kind of represents the area of that box. And what we're doing when we're doing expressions is I could say 5. Well, what's the difference of breaking up 4 into 2 times 2? Well, that'd be 10, and that'd be 10. Is 10 plus 10 still 20? Yeah. So we can break up these terms. And that's basically what I have. So if I have one expression, or one term, I'll just write that as x squared. And then here, I have three different terms. So therefore, I write x squared, 3x, and negative 5. Then I find the area of each one of those boxes and then combine them up, right? Just do length times width, length times width, length times width. And it's very, very important, very, very helpful, especially when you start getting up into higher order polynomials um, that have two, three, four um, terms in them. So here, say here I have an expression with two terms. All right, here I have an expression with three terms. And I'm not actually going to do the problem, but I just want you to see how I break it up. All right, and so now I just write x to the fourth minus 3x cubed. And then I have x squared plus 3x plus 5. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's all basically we need to go ahead and do um, to go ahead and rewrite or to determine each one of those. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is just a basic overview of how to multiply your polynomials. Thanks.